turn of each page, the recite of each word, brings closer the winds of heaven, never too young, never too old to learn, to become one closer to Allah, and join our one-on-one -on -one classes to start learning the Quran today. Download QTOR and start your free trial today. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters and welcome to Quran and Islam. I hope you're enjoying good health and Iman. Far, far away from the cities, roads and population of Yemen, there is a hole in the ground. If you look at it from the top, you will see a break in the earth in the middle of a vast desert with nobody around. This sinkhole is the famous well of Barhud, also called the well of hell. It's easy to see why. Without the help of wings or long ropes, anything that disappears into this 367 foot deep well of jinns is not going to come out. For centuries, sinister stories have revolved around the well of hell. It's said that visiting or even talking about it can bring bad luck. Legends say that this hole in the earth enters the well or cave where an uncontrollable jinn has been imprisoned. People of that area also believe that they have often heard strange voices and sounds of screaming coming from the well of jinns. The air down the well is so bad and filthy that the moment anyone enters, he faints and eventually dies because he could not breathe. Here is where it gets even more interesting. Just recently, an exploration team decided to take this first ever expedition. Geologist and caver Muhammad Al-Kindi decided to go down this 367 feet deep cave to see for himself. Apart from the sinister legends, the exploration team was more concerned about the unexploded bombshells and weaponry as Yemen had previously been in a civil war and caves usually are the places where armies drop bombshells. Al-Kindi, after hours of exploration, came out and said, It was an enjoyable experience. Here's what they found. There were loads of unique cave deposits, including crystals, stones and pearls. About the strong, bad smell that came from the well of hell, Al-Kindi explained it by the large number of dead bodies of the animals and birds that fell into the well of hell. As you go down the floor of the cave widens and there are huge waterfalls. The water of this cave, however, is believed to be poisonous. The life down there has its own ecosystem. The snakes, once they fall, cannot climb back and there are no predators there. So you find all unique types of wild snakes multiplying and dying every day. This well of jinns is estimated to be millions of years old and a local legend says an ancient king forced a jinn to carve his hole to protect his treasure. Others say it was built to punish and imprison a jinn. Anyhow, geologists could not explain the origin of this alone standing cave hole in the middle of a quiet desert. So, brothers and sisters, Al-Kindi came out of the cave safe and sound. But it is also worth mentioning that he went with ropes and a team. It still stands true that no animal, even some birds and humans can climb back from this deep and wide sinkhole once they enter. Do you know of any other such mysterious places? Share with us your thoughts about this mysterious cave in the middle of the quiet Yemeni desert. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications bell so that you don't miss an update. Till next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.